The hands of the Mona Lisa play a crucial role in contributing to the overall balance, naturalism, and subtle psychological depth of the painting. Leonardo da Vinci's masterful attention to detail in the depiction of hands, along with his innovations in painting technique. Let's explore the various aspects of the hands in the Mona Lisa. 1. Positioning and Composition of the Hands Naturalistic Placement The hands of the Mona Lisa are gently resting on one another, with her right hand placed delicately over her left wrist, which in turn rests on the arm of a chair. This relaxed positioning conveys a sense of composure and tranquility. It is an example of Leonardo's desire to represent figures in natural. Balance and Symmetry The positioning of the hands is not just a matter of anatomy. Provide a visual counterbalance to the upper part dominated by Mona Lisa's face. This creates a harmonious distribution of attention across the canvas. Reinforcing Da Vinci's use of pyramidal composition. A common Renaissance technique in which figures are arranged in a triangular or pyramid-like shape for stability and balance. 2. Anatomical Precision and Realism Or Leonardo's study of anatomy. Leonardo's extensive anatomical studies, based on dissections and his drawings of human muscles and bones, the slight tension in the tendons, and the nuanced modeling of the fingers are a testament to his profound understanding of human anatomy. A subtle details, the careful observation of minute, highlighting their volume and texture. The fingers, although at rest, are portrayed with a slight curve and a soft relaxation, reflecting not only Leonardo's anatomical knowledge, but also his dedication to capturing the subtleties of the human body in a moment of repose. 3. Emotional and Psychological Interpretation Quiet Dignity and Poise The Mona Lisa's Hands Contribute significantly to the psychological reading of the figure. The calm, almost serene posture of her hands reinforces the tranquil and composed expression on her face. As art historian Kenneth Clark noted, the hands communicate a quiet dignity, subtly underlining the nobility, connection to the viewer, the stillness and softness of the hands, paired with the ambiguous expression, engage the viewer in a subtle psychological dialogue. While the hands do not command attention in the same way as the face, their natural positioning and delicate tension create a sense of intimacy and humanity. They quietly draw the viewer in, inviting contemplation. 4. Technical Mastery, Use of Sfumato Sfumato technique, one of Leonardo's most celebrated innovations in painting. Soft effect, without visible lines or edges. The hands of the Mona Lisa appear to melt into the surrounding space. With gentle transitions from light to shadow. Enhancing their lifelike appearance. Gradual transitions, the shadows between the fingers, on the knuckles. And along the wrist are rendered with such finesse that they seem. This handling of light and shadow gives the hands. According to Carmen Bambach. A curator and Leonardo scholar. The sfumato used on the hands is one of the finest examples of Leonardo's understanding of human physiology and his unparalleled skill in representing it. 5. A Role in the Painting's Iconography Elegance and femininity, beyond their technical precision, the hands of the Mona Lisa are symbolic of elegance and femininity. Their graceful position reflects the ideals of womanhood during the Renaissance, poised, restrained, and controlled. The lack of overt expression in her hands contrasts with the mystery of her smile, creating a tension between movement and stillness that enhances the overall mystique of the figure. Renaissance ideals of harmony, the balanced and harmonious rendering of the hands is in keeping with Renaissance ideals of humanism and naturalism. Leonardo's portrayal of the hands was not just an artistic choice but also a philosophical one, capturing the beauty of the human form in its most natural state. 6. Influence and Legacy A Influence on Later Artists The treatment of hands in the Mona Lisa set a standard for portraiture, influencing numerous artists in subsequent centuries. Leonardo's precise and lifelike portrayal of hands was emulated by artists such as Raphael and Titian, who sought to bring similar levels of realism and grace to their portraits. A cultural and artistic impact. Today, 
The Mona Lisa's hands are frequently analyzed in art historical literature as an example of Leonardo's unparalleled skill in rendering the human body. Their understated elegance has become a hallmark of the painting's universal appeal, as much a subject of fascination as the mysterious smile.